but he misses horribly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, um, if that thing's in the air, would Severa be able to hit it with a bite? Yeah, it's it's like she because she has a long neck and it's just dragging. So yeah. She can reach out like almost like a hop type. So just she's, okay. she's changing her re- reaction from one to another, and she's not really taking off, or maybe she is. So the the there's no attack of opportunity there. She's staying within her perimeter. Okay. Nice. Um. Well, oh, you attack both. Well. Oh, that's why. Uh, yeah. One, one, two. So let's go with the. It was uh, advantage because she was attacking the dead Triceratops. Yeah. It was 12. 12 plus 6 would have been 18. Yeah, she's still hit, so go ahead and do your damage. Nice. Nice. All right. Zero takes a big chomp out of him, and then uh, that is her turn, so. He moves forward. So that's six to eight. He has a six to eight, five. Man, he barely makes it. <laughs> This is dandy. Up, oh, lances right off the plate mail. <laughs> <laughs> the turret changes targets up to the paradoxal. Here we go. Gets a hit. Ha! Which way was this? All right. Wait, was that the crate seven damage uh, that was partially resisted? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. that crate was. It was attacking the crate. Yeah, I'm changing. <laughs> there we go. Halen. All right, there we go. I'm going to cast Bless on uh, Sephira, uh, Halen, and Goth Magus. All right. Um, you, you I have a quick, go ahead. Uh, question on that. Um, how many targets can you do on that? He can do uh, three Bless, targets. Yeah. Three targets. I mean, if I use a higher spell slot, I can do four. So if you no, want, I, I was can, just going to say use, use a three on anybody that's not Halen, because I've got an item that I completely forgot about that he's going to drink when it gets kind of his turn. He has a Bless Potion. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, I was going to so use that... it on Hyacinth, but I think she's only going to do... Um, she's just going to continue her ritual. Can I see... Can I see Dark Dandy? Ah, uh, no. Okay. You would um, have to move. Kill the pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kill the pterodactyl. Uh, uh, I'll yeah, happen. I mean, I I could switch from bless and just do attacks on the pterodactyl. Uh, well, I mean, bless wouldn't be a bad idea, but yeah, it might be better to save it. Until yeah, you maybe I'll save it. Okay, candy. I'm gonna do a move action then. I'll uh, move out to uh, here, and I'll take a swing at the pterodactyl. All right, uh, you're targeting uh, uh, people right now, so. Oh, that's right. Let me uh, untell you then. Sorry. Um... Okay, there we go. So to attack the pterodactyl, you would have to jump on the crate. Oh right. Oh okay. I'm gonna so... jump on this crate. So you're actually. Uh, is that just... a deck save? No, because you're you're really within the same level. So you're just moving over. All right. The death save was if you were okay. jumping. 
Okay. No you guys are getting, everybody's getting so clustered there, so hard Yeah, now. I know, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Nice! Yay! There we go, that's my turn. This guy is seeing all this emotion, and he's just going to uh, do a stump. Okay. And he's going but to remember. He's got to run from me. He is within thirty. He's got to get away from. Yeah, he's fast just going as possible, this way. right? And cannot stay within that thirty feet radius of the dandy. So he's going this direction, and he's stomping. So he's going to attack um, the dragon and. Do I get an attack off to me? Uh, yeah, because he was within your range. Yeah, definitely. Go ahead and do that first. Let's see what happens. And I guess the dragon gets an opportunity attack, right? Um, well, he's stumping, so he's going through them. And then he'll do the stump first, and then we'll see what happens afterwards. But because he's actually leaving someone else's side, so... Um, go ahead and do, did you attack? No, I can't tell if I got him... Again, I can't tell if I got him... Uh, targeted? Targeted. You're at the bottom, aren't you? Yeah, I think that the crates messed it up or something. Ah, uh, you don't have them uh, targeted. I'll target them for you. Thank you. It's because I have that giant effect on That's what does it. There you go. I am awful at rolls tonight, guys. Did uh, Taylor get an opportunity to? No, not yet. I, oh, okay. I mean, he hasn't gone that far yet. I mean, he's oh, just, I see. what he's doing is running away from you guys. So no, I missed. So, where was... so he's targeting. If Safira does get to do her attack, she rolled her it. But I'm not rolling damage until you let me know if it's okay. Yeah. Yes, let me do the stump first, and then I'll let you guys do your opportunity to attack. It's just so crowded in there. I'm like trying to. Oh, it's rugged. You got to zoom way in. Or small crate. I know. I'm trying to get. Hold on. Stupid crate. They are in the way. Hey, can I ask a question real quick? This um, arcane invocation I have, or elder. It says, anytime I take the attack. Oh, during my turn. But anyhow, anytime I take the attack action, I can attack twice. That's what it's saying. All right. So he, he'll stump to here, right? So the only one that gets an attack of opportunity is the dragon. Okay. Dragon. Well, I was going to say, does, does the guy need to be further away from me? Like 10, within that 30 feet? 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Well, the best... Uh, the best... There's something it's, in between the, you and him. Oh, shit. Um, that, that was the wrong target. Uh, can you heal... Uh, sorry, the pterodactyl for 10 days? <laughs> How many oh. did you do? <laughs> uh, 10 damage. 10. Okay, yeah, I'll get him. I was just asking. I mean, I'm trying to figure out the... The thirty. I'm. I guess like I was doing it, measuring from the, uh, like by hitting control and then going within that thirty foot radius all around my character. Is that how that works, or is it worked differently? Nice. I don't matter. He's dead anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Fair enough. Sparrow was not happy about its attempt to trample her. All right. <laughs> 
Wow. Oh, good job. Number one is dead. No, he's not. He's been surviving. This guy's been uh, from the beginning of the uh, battle. He is the sole survivor. So far. And that's hit. As my reaction, I will use uh, my Archfey talent to cast Misty Step and move. I have no idea how far away. Hold on. <laughs> All right. As you're doing that, I'm going to move my character, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it, man. i got to find where the hell this spell is. There's too many things in here. And he gets to you. So do you move out of the way before he gets to you? Yeah, because it's instantaneous. I turn to mist and move. I just got to find the actual dam. 60 feet. Okay, go anywhere you want, 60 feet. So, this guy has another 10, 10 more. Yep, so he'd be able to get to Severa, probably. Yeah. Being that there's no target there. Okay. And you run at Misty Step. Bye bye. Hey, man. Misty Step's the shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes right there. That's a good position, too, because he can see pretty much everywhere he would need to see to like shoot from there. Nineteen. Wow. Yeah. She's able um, to handle it. Real, <laughs> that triceratops that died that I had hexed. Yep. You know oh, you can move about? your. Yep. You can move your your hex. Uh, no, no, no! It's not even move my hex. It's I regain hit points when that happens. Okay. Go ahead and apply that, whatever that was. I'm not okay. sure what it was. Yeah, I got it. All right. So, snap cues is going to move. Wait, is he? Is he going? Is he going to move? Oh no, he no, he he's done, he's done, sorry. Turret is aiming again at the triceratops right above him. He changes direction. With advantage because it's just right above him. Okay, misses. <laughs> yeah, you missed that. Damn. Dandy. Alrighty. Killing machine. Well, this poor guy has made a suboptimal side doing. He made a suboptimal life choice. Oh, he did. He's getting the sun sword right to the face. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Dang. And, uh... Mm. You could hit him in the face again. I could, I could. That is correct. I was just making sure... I am just going to hang on to some of these other level 1 spells. And I'll just, just go ahead. Attack him again. Uh, I'll hit. The old sun sword. Nice. I'm going to remove him from the tracker. Why did he get that soon? And I have a question, and it's probably obviously going to be no, but just to ask. Um, none of these things have, like, sunlight uh, weaknesses of any kind. Do a history check. Okay. Um... In the tower, please. Yep. Yeah, you don't know anything. You just, you've never seen a dinosaur before. Okay. But uh, I was just saying that, though, because uh, Dandy's uh, blade is sunlight. So the light that's radiating from him right now is considered something. Yeah, but it's it would be more into the undead and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I figured. I was just pointing it out so that it'd be aware if there was anything. All right. And I'm going to do a reaction. Okay, go ahead. And do a hellish rebuke. All right. Please explain what that's going to do. Oh, um, hellish oh, rebuke. That's what, uh, yeah, that's what he was just doing. Hellish basically. Rebuke is an action. It's you can cause like 2d6 fire plus an additional 1d6. Okay, but he made a saving throw, right? Uh, that was a failure for the, uh... Yeah, so it's half. Yeah, well, it should imp imp imply it. Save. Well, he had two things targeted. The pterodactyl failed, and then the reaver... It maybe the thing that caused you damage. It was the thing that yeah. hit you. I didn't mean yeah. to be no, targeting the, uh... So just target, so, uh... Just un 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 target the other creature and do your damage to the pterodactyl. Well, well the, the problem is that uh, the second one. Well, the second one didn't count because he didn't um, get a hellish rebuke on him. Uh, okay, cool. All right. Super. Sweet. All right. Oh, Run away. Run away. Don't tell me about it. <sighs> Do we want to go nuclear yet, guys? Is the nuclear option a thing yet? How many? What turn are we at, by the way, guys? Yeah. Turn. This is the second turn. Turn. I mean, technically, I think it's terms round three, right? No, it's the second round. Those um, are no, it is. Too. It is three. It's three. Yeah. What? It is three? Yeah, it's supposed oh, to be three. Yeah, round yeah. Zero. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I changed it to three. It should have been yeah, round one. Yeah, there we go. And we have eight rounds. So five more. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't go nuclear yet. <laughs> yeah, maybe around six, seven. <laughs> All right. And the one other thing to consider if going nuclear was something like, say, fireball, is that Sephira wouldn't be affected oh, by that, no, but everybody buddy. else around there would. Oh no, when I go nuclear, it's going to be serious, don't you worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast. Uh, oh wait, I got something extra tight. Hmm. 
These crates, man, they make it hell. Yeah, they do. We could uh, move them out of the way for right now, put them in the middle. They have the basic concept where they're at. And if I'm going to go through one, I'll just attack it. It's just not even letting me do this. It won't even let me clear the target. Right, I've noticed there's place. a little bit of a lag there, so I mean, I tried clearing targets. Seconds. All right, it's gonna try to attack the crate. I apologize. Um, no, I, I cleared your targets, so I thought I did. There we go. All right, first Elder's Blast. Stack that guy. All right. Nice. And he moves back Ooh, 10 nice feet blast. into his fellow. Nice. And then just because I don't like the look of him, I'm going to hit him with the second. <laughs> oh. No, it's only that first one, so it's... Yeah, so as you push the one orc out of the way, the other one was able to jump out of the way. I rolled the deck save on him. So does Superior get to open her mouth and wait for the orc to fly into it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, if you're uh, done... That's my turn. All right, perfect. Just looking, sorry. Yep. Yes, it's just still doing her words. It's just concentrating. And you hear the... Mm, and saying some magical words. And we're... All right. Give me one second. Man, that's a lot. Um, And you hear the horn blown again from number one, who's consistently surviving this battle. And as you guys hear this horn blown, the north of you starts filling out with more oryx. Oh, fun. Oh, wow. A phalanx of oryx. Oh, geez. Well, hold on, hold on nice. here. That's, that is a lot of orcs. Oh, wow. <laughs> And they will move in so unison. Spear and shield. That might be a good nuclear time. Yep. Wait, whoa, whoa. What what's going on up there? There's more? <laughs> but wait, there's more. It's like a bad Billy Mays commercial. <laughs> but wait, there's more. You're telling oh, they're, me. They're, they're all gone. They ran. <laughs> oh, no, no. They're back. Hey, you're telling me. I got to figure this one out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. That's, quite That's a, a lot of... Remember what I told you guys. <laughs> Without giving it too much. <laughs> it's like eight in the middle, two on the left, and two on the right. Jeez. All right. That's awesome. Um, Sarah really needs to recharge her breath. <laughs> Helen, you're up. Uh, oh, wow. Alrighty. Um, 
he's really, really not liking the look of those guys up there. Um, uh, he is going to fly on top of the crate right in front of him, so he's closer and like in, again in the what between where they would potentially be coming in and the chick there. Okay, you can move him, and then we'll I'll move him for you. Okay. All right, and uh, because he wants to finish off this dino that's right here, he's going to go ahead and uh, attack it with his um, tentacle rod. Okay. Clicking on the map is not going to work. Uh, Just drop. Hit one. Hit two. Hit three. Yeah. Do damage one by one or all at the same time. Right, that is. Wait a minute, did that actually hit him? No, it didn't. Um, I'll drag it. I'll drag it. Oh, you want to okay. drag it? You can. Yay! Yeah. And you see this just thing plummet to the yeah. to the ground. You go, ah! <laughs> crashes right on top of the the crate. So you see this dead. All right. Watching his uh, tentacle rod finish off that big bird thing, he's quite happy. Now he's going to turn and uh, use the same thing against the orc that's next to Sephira. All right. You are within range, I believe. Two hits. Mr. Survival there. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still surviving. <laughs> he's oh, the, Jesus. He's the MVP. Yes. Oh, my God. He's the MVP player right here. <laughs> Our MVP. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Well, that is all Alan can do. So he's all right. going to go ahead and end his... Well, these guys are having a blast here, it sounds like. All right. So he is done for. Uh, we'll remove him. Or phlegmatic number two. This is where it gets tough for me. Trying to find out which one is Orc Fanatic two out of your army over there. Yes. <laughs> yes, I found him. Oh, there he is. Okay. I was looking for the target thing. Perfect. All right. So he is now, going to... The real to... question is, is which one's the leader out of this group? Black one. Wait, aren't they all... Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Would, um... Uh, since he entered, uh... Helen's reach after that attack, which he just missed. Would he be able to do his pull arms, uh, pull arm mastery? Only one, one. So you have a choice. This yeah. one. Yeah, go ahead. Oops. So it's uh, one reaction. Roll. So. Yeah. So. Yep, you missed. Okay. Now it's your dragon's turn. And he rolled a four. Darn it. Or she rolled a four, sorry. Yep. Helen thinks telepathically to Sphere. He's like, is your breath weapon ready yet? We need your attack. Anyway, so uh, she is going to uh, try to finish off that orc who doesn't want to die, apparently.
I like that it automatically rolls for you. That's kind of cool. Yep. Darn it. All right. Sphera yeah. misses with her bite. <laughs> and, 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 that's and, it. and he dodges. To cover that side. <laughs> All right. And you guys have been going at it for a while, too. There's. <laughs> okay. And um, I do have one quick question because I keep forgetting to use it every single bloody round. And I'm going to remember it next time. But um, drinking a potion, do you use like the um, bonus action rule? Yes. Okay. I sure do, especially things like this. <laughs> hmm. I mean, if you put that up on the... Oh, you're far enough away, you probably can't get closer to them. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to try to hit Orc Fanatic 2 with the mace. All right. Nice. All Woo. right. That's my turn. And do you, you only get one hit? Yep. Okay. And uh, number four. Petite Jockstrap is going to be moving. <laughs> like the worst name ever. <laughs> like, what did he do to deserve that name? Like, I, I almost want to know the story now because it's that bad. That's that's why he's so angry because you know he's got a petite jockstrap. And hit. Or Palmer number one, the survival. <laughs> he is battling. God, you guys got him so close too. Sex played curse and he just won't. Damn it. Not you. Where's that one at? I I lost track of this one. Shoot. Oh, there he is. Okay. And this is. The turret will attack. Um, his only target in sight. The 
Oh, nat 20. Mm -hmm. Nice. Boom! Right through the forehead. Yeah. That work. Yeah. It turns just... <laughs> fire. Right through the forehead. That just healed me, too. <laughs> Do you get that automatically? Oh, no, weaker. I have to pay attention to what has the hex on it, which, by the way, I need to pass my hex again. Alright, go ahead, Dandy. All right. Well, don't really have a choice, I guess, in the matter. Guess I'll go ahead and swing that sword of sun. Okay. I mean, the, the Terdas was it was in your reach because he's flying down, pick pecking at you. Oh no, I was I was attacking the uh, the orc, the orc, right next to me. So, are you kidding? What? Yeah, one damage. Uh, Dios mio. Okay. Uh, these, one, right. this, these ones are really <laughs> killing you. I know. It's just like they're... Oh, or whatever. I got to... Not I gotta killing them. <laughs> Get hit again. Oh, nice. Nah, that was a good one. Refocused. All right. All right. Well, I guess that happened. My turn is over. <laughs> Oily lip hair. Oh, oh God. <laughs> that is gross. <laughs> I feel bad for this orc tribe. Their names are bad. Yeah. Suboptimal choices were made on the name, sir. Not by me. It's this app. <laughs> Like a randomizer. The, actually, I'm gonna I blame I'm the gonna, tribal leader. I'm gonna move him here, and he's gonna chuck a uh, javelin. I'd love to find out what the tribal leader's name is. Probably not read so good. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> ah, you were able to dodge that one. I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and reactive action on that. All right. With a hellish rebuke on him. Uh, were you going to roll the damage first or? Okay. Yeah, that's what I've been trying. Just going to do it. There we go. Okay, you can do LS review. Go for it. And you did it. Nice. Half, oh, half damage to him. Okay, because he, he made it, baby. So. All right. Uh, Dandy, that's not accurate. Because Hello should be dandy, should get an extra 1d10 on the damage roll. Why? Because he's more than level 1. Oh, it's uh, like a cancer well, you thing where he needs to level up the spell. Yeah, I think this is a, this is a level 1 uh, Hellish Rebuke spell. So, just based off my spell slots. Yeah, it depends. I, okay, that's true. Sorry, I'm playing a warlock, so it's completely different for me. Because um, I just cast everything. Uh, level. See, the problem I have is I've got a very limited number of slots, so I'm using precious slots for Hellish Rebuke. I got you. I'll wash my lane. My bad. No, no, no worries, man. I mean, hey, any advice or help you can give me, I will take it, sir. You, you tell me. <laughs> I'm just, I'm thinking that's how it is because how it worked out with the sheet, it was a level and spell, so. 
Hyacinth is halfway through the ritual, yay! That's good, because we're really surrounded. Yeah. Nuclear, nuclear! We are not doing well. It's gonna happen. You just wait. My team's about to pop. Ooh, this orc is wearing a reliable great blazer. Alright, boss. You're out. The news a little bit. And then I have no idea how this goes in fantasy grounds. So, welcome to the experiment. <laughs> what are you going to do? And I can help you up. I'm going to cast Hunger of Hadar, uh, which means I am opening a 20 foot radius black sphere of bitter cold and hatred from a multiverse that has nasty white tentacles of acid and all kinds of fun shit. All right, but, uh, so the way you would do really it, the way you would do it is you create your sphere by by uh, creating a circle, and then and then move that circle where you want it, and those are the people. All those are the ones you would target. Then you target all of them, so it gives you a, a kind of a you know a, a visual of who's going to get hit. And just start clicking control click on all of them and then just move it to where you need to move it to yeah if you do use the number that should let you great now if you you know like your characters your own players get hit too so if you if you aren't careful Yeah, so everybody in that circle, even if it's edge touching, will get affected. And just target every one of them. Hit your control and just start click, 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 click. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. She have nine targeted. One, two, three. I don't think there's an effect. Like a pre-written. Hold on. And What's what the name of that spell? Hunger of Hadar. There is a... Uh, there is a 5e coding effect for that. But does it not have an effect actually in that? Oh, uh, you know, I'm maybe... Yeah, it's, well, it's all coded right there. I got it, I got it. So the damage is first they do a DC, then they do a 2d6 acid damage. Jesus Christ, this thing is wicked to look at when you open it up. Uh, okay, hold on. So it's a cast, right? So you, yeah. Or no, it's just a save. Do the save first. Jesus. <laughs> it's a lot of save dice. All right, and then now do your cast because it automatically will. So now it's just damage. Yep. Yeah, and you could do it at d different level um, damages too, I believe, right? Nice job. Yeah, but it's a third level spell, so it's Whoa, just death. Death. Look at that instant death. Um, and that spell remains for the next. Holy Christ, look at that damage. And so, if oh, they start nice. their turn in there, they take more damage, and if they end their turn in there, they take more damage. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, okay. you weren't kidding about the nuke. <laughs> um, and I believe I killed the person that I hexed, so I have to pass that. Is he unconscious? No. No, I think he's still alive. Okay. I'm... There's your. You new have uh, two uh, <laughs> X-Blade curses up. You have one on Pumpler, one who's 
not he's removed. unconscious though yeah yeah so it doesn't matter once he's removed it. All right, I'm just looking to see if I I got a couple in there. So, so I'm curious how the this next part works when they start their turn. That's one. Yeah, I was going to ask about that because you already hit them, so they really it'll be next turn, right? No. No, it says any creature that ends its turn in the area must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 2d6 acid damage as Milky Otherworldly. And then it says any creature that starts its turn in the area takes 2d6 full damage. Oh, oh so starts yeah, no. and ends? None of them take it this round. Yeah, that is not, yeah none of them take it. It's next round. Okay. Yep. Yeah, right. yeah, okay. Because okay. I'm like, you're double hitting them. I'm like, that's not cool. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. All right. So this guy, let's see how intelligent he is. Yeah, he felt something and he didn't like what he felt, so he's going to get out. That's as fast as possible in in front of him. And then he's going to do a dex save. Uh oh. And he makes it and he's going to jump over. That's to the plate. Stupid crate. And I was going to target her. And I think he's going to make a wisdom save check or something. Um, with the... For the sanctuary. Okay, we'll do that. And this is Sir. And makes his wisdom save. All right. He he did a lot. Yeah. This guy fell something, but he wasn't hundred percent sure. But he still he has a target here. And it's going after the nice little dragon. I completely missed it. <laughs> Same thing. Let's do an intelligence check. Yeah, he didn't feel anything. He's just going to do what he's been told to do. Um, I've what got a question. Attacking? How is the orc that's like three spaces away attacking a crate? He's not. He was attacking someone else, but I gotta change that. Ah. <laughs> and this. Alright. Wait, what orc was that? It's one that's, uh, like, northeast. Yeah, the one's turning in a circle. That would be 2d6 acid damage, please, sir. No, it hasn't been the next turn yet. Ended his turn. Oh, ended his turn. Okay. 
So go ahead and apply it. Right. That's why I was rolling intelligence to see that what they would do because they have they have an assignment. So. Did you apply it to him? Mm, looks like it. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, nine damage to frantic, nervous, alarm, titter. Titter. <laughs> Alright. So that was that one. The next turn. Give me one second, guys. I'm setting something up. I tell you guys, all the excitement. What? 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 Devin? Oh, to the to the oh to the right. Oh, oh, right the map. Okay, those look very bad. Helen, you're up. Right. And, and you, you hear crushing. To, sorry, you what? hear crushing and. And and sounds coming with horns on the east side of the the, the map now. Okay, he's going to use his bonus action to use the potion he was supposed to use in the beginning of the fight, but keeps forgetting every single round. All right, go for it. Is that your blessed potion? Yep. Nice. Make sure you have that applied to yourself. That is. If you don't have it, can you put the bless potion on him? Uh, bless on him. Oh yeah, do you uh, want me to put the bless on you? I was gonna say I yeah. put it on my, myself. I'll, I'll I'll put it on you if you don't have it. Oh, I have it. If you look at my character sheet, I've got the potion of heroism on. Okay. Oh heroism. Oh okay. Gotcha. 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 All right. Oh, that's right. Are we at the top of a round? Yes, we yeah. are. This round. Um, can I raise one of those things I killed with Hadar's hunger as a, uh, what the hell is it called? A cursed spec. What? <laughs> we only need to do that to the, to the Triceratops. To the Triceratops, man. <laughs> uh, no, it has to be a humanoid. Starting at the oh. level, any creature, um... I, I, that I that I kill, I can curse to raise its soul, and it basically is a specter, like from the monster manual. Okay. And it has bonus temporary hit points equal to half my warlock level. Let me find a specter for you. It rolls initiative and obeys my commands, and its attack rolls are equal to my charisma modifier. Sorry, not to throw a curveball at you. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, so give me the amount of hit points he's supposed to have. It's whatever it's whatever it is in the monster manual. Then just plus my. Um, so it's twenty right five. now. And then he gets temporary hit points equal to my charisma modifier, which is. Four. Oh, you got cut out at the end. Three. 
my charisma modifier is three. So right. plus three temporary hit points. And then he has a plus three bonus to attack rolls. At least you have it in your... And he is. He rolled a 22 for initiative, so... He is... Shot. And I'm going to put him in the combat. Where do you want him? Uh, just if you want, you can put him right outside the... Uh, or I mean, anywhere, wherever one of those orcs fell. Because I'll just move him. That's fine. And why don't we make the hero one up? The one that died. <laughs> that works. Thank you. All right. That's cool, man. I actually got to do that. And you did see him come up, right? So... Say, say it again. You did see the character sheet come up, right? Yep, I got it. All right. So we're going to ba backtrack a little bit. The spectrum okay. comes up first. So go ahead. Is it daytime? Yeah, it is daytime. Uh, all right. Well, then, damn, I have disadvantage on attack rolls right now. All right. Um, we'll just put a disadvantage attack on that and attack. Yeah, he'll do a million. How the hell do you do that? On one of these? Hold on. I, uh, if he's attacking the one that's between him and Sephira, would he also get advantage though? So it would cancel itself out for nothing? Why would he get that advantage? A flanking bonus if you use that? Yes. Yeah, so you can cancel that out. Good one. How the hell do you attack from this sheet, though? You have to, um... You have to drag and drop a lot of this stuff. So you oh, have I to... see what's up. Okay, I got it. Uh, it looks like he is... Just the one attack, I think. Yeah, just... If you're done, let me know. I have to pass it yeah, for I you. Yeah, I can't pass it. Yeah, sorry. All right. Hell, you're up. All right. He is going to kill, try to kill this orc that is attacking the lady. Okay. And he is going to use his tentacle rod. All right. Yay, okay. Wow. <laughs> I like that. And also... Uh, that... That's the one I needed to drag. Alright. So that means he also gets that. Okay. I don't think he's moving much. <laughs> he's after a target. Nope. <laughs> Are you done? Uh, no, but I am going to do it one at a time in case he dies before the third. Okay. Can you change uh, your target after that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Each uh, tentacle attacks independently. Nice. Yep. All right. So he's going to use the last one to uh, attack the orc. Okay. All 
Alrighty. Those that. ones that kill her out. <laughs> or not <kill> Yeah. <laughs> yep. Not a whole lot there, but... Alright, it's your dragon's turn. Just saying, petite... Petite jockstrap's pretty hardcore, man. <laughs> <laughs> he sure is. Oh, Perfect size. Oh, yes! He rolled a six! He, he rolled a six. Alright, that means she can breathe fire again. Yep. Um... Not gonna go attack the big green guys down south. Uh, from atop the uh, the building, maybe in that other gray orc. She could do that too, but uh, actually, yeah, two of the orcs could rush towards the person we're trying to defend if she moved right. That's true. So, all right. Um, but before she does her attack, she would um, look towards the healer person and be like, I do not feel well. I could use some health if you can. And then uh, attacks the orc. Uh, And she didn't use a pipe because this would be not a good time to use her breath. Woohoo! And she takes a very large bite out of that orc. Nice. All right. Uh, so, yeah, that is her. All right. Oh, I didn't see where he was at. Shoot. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh. oh, he's still battling you, man. This has been an ongoing battle between you two. Between Dark. Dark and Order River 1. The ultimate battle. And this is dark. Played male. Damn, Outdated trousers. It's going to come into play here. Was updated trousers in that black circle area? No. No. I wonder what kind of outdated trousers he was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> and he and he's going to attack with his last javelin. Cause he, you guys are standing. Uh, out, it's going. You guys are standing in the uh, on top of the crate. Yeah. Um. But after he does that, Helen would like to use his because uh, it's been another round. His reaction to use his polearm mastery. Yep. Go for it. Go ahead and do your attack while I move my character. Okay. Alrighty. So it's with Glaive, and that's his reaction. What is the distance of the spell? Oh, oh plenty. Oh, okay. He sees um, you on top there, and he will fire Firebolt. Ooh, you got a caster. Uh, nope. Sorry, he's going to fire Magic Missile. Mm. 
I would rather have been the fireball. <laughs> and this. And passes his turn. Okay. I'm glad that I've got 10 points of uh, temporary health from my potion of heroes. <laughs> okay. Orc Savage 3, I believe. Nope. He sees you come out and he's going to come out and chase you. Man, this sucky rolls. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, his target right in front of him. And being that so close, he gets advantage. It's a uh, petite jack strap. <laughs> oh. Kill magic crossbow. And, and then you see this other conjurer come up, and he's going to attack Dark with a magic missile. Oh, guys, I'm hurting. Drink a potion, man. Get out of there. Is that dark? That is dark. Dark is getting hurt, man. Okay. 32%. I mean, I'm up to uh, 32 hit points wounded out of 53. Oh. <sighs> okay. That'll change what I'm doing next turn then. <laughs> Let's see. All no, right, I'll, dark. Well, just, just, just hang on. Say, I got a healing potion. So oh, yes. Yeah, I was gonna say Sapphira is twenty-two, uh, thirty-eight, and she can't heal her. Yeah, fo focus on her. I mean, if I die, that's fine. We still. No, have no, that's no. I would not. I would not say. I would rather have you up than her. <laughs> I'm just saying she can't heal herself. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. Um. Actually, my. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, mass healing word. Um. All right, I'm gonna do mass healing word. Um. That's a sixty foot me. radius, isn't it? Sixty foot radius around me, so everybody within. And that's within perfect. sixty foot of me will get it. So except, that's that's all of my companions, basically. Except right? for uh, Goth. Oh. It's okay. Right, I got. I right. got full health. I'm fine. All right. Yep. Let, let me target everybody. everyone. Uh, let's see. One, two. Okay, I got Helen, Dark Dandy. Um, who else did I miss? Don't heal the Spectre. Sephira. Don't did I miss Spectre. anyone? Make sure you got the dragon. Yeah. I, I got all three, right? I uh... think that's it then. Sephira, uh, Helen, Dark Dandy. Yeah, and you if you can heal yourself. Oh, right. That's right. Okay. That sounds good. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, yep. heal. Okay. Not too bad. 
No. Nice, man. Good job. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> Spirit is thanks Oh, you. oh, and uh, that was a bonus action, actually. So. Nice. Um, I'm going to do... Oh, shucks. Actually, I'd, I would really like to hit the Spectre with the Mace of Disruption. What? Uh, <laughs> no. no. The Spectre he, is a friend. He's, he's a friend. Oh. Oh, never mind. He's the oh, yeah, guy. that's right. Yeah, hit the big In that case, guy. I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw a Cure Wounds at Dark Dandy. Oh, no, wait. Um, should I heal Sephira or Dark Dandy? Oh, I, don't, I, I don't think you can... Tar I mean, can you target me past the Obelisk? Oh. Yeah, you oh, can't that... see him. Yeah, that that's also right. also Cure Wounds. A... Is that a touch spell? Yep. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Can you cold person? Can you stop the giant monster that's coming up on the east <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the giant monster looks like something that definitely needs to be stopped. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about him. Okay, um... Shock. Alright. I'm gonna do a move action. Uh... If I move 15 feet here, um... Uh, is the giant monster within range of attack? Uh, no. Oh, he will be. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. But he won't be able to attack until next round. The Ankylosaurus. Okay. Um. I uh, I can attack him now, though, right? You can attack him now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You missed. Oh, you hit. Oh, you hit. Nice. 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 And that's my turn. Great turn. This is a battle, guys. This oh, is yeah. <laughs> I mean, for one minute worth of time frame, guys, it's <laughs> like it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right, it's just a minute, yeah. Missed you. I kind of feel like we should have had least... Okay, he gets damaged because he's in that circle? He should, but, uh... Yes, he does. That's what he did. Yeah, hold on. Sorry, I was on the wrong character. Which one is it? Right above M. Petite uh, duck strap. The magnificent. Yeah, hold on. It keeps doing it like I'm. You want me to tell well, them for you? Even Yeah, maybe you, you might have to target it now. Oh, hold on. I gotta get you first. Because it keeps trying to do it like I'm the Spectre. Yeah. Yep, yep, hold on. Is it the top of the 8th that ends the ritual or the bottom of the 8th? There you go, bud. You okay, so know. he's beginning his turn, correct? He's beginning his turn. Just questions. Oh. And he dies. Nope, he's not getting his turn. He's dying. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, that's what happens. The jock straps. <laughs> that's what happens when they're so petite. Way too petite. It's not. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um. Yep. The dragon gets uh, targeted. I'm just gonna say, I mean, with that guy's name, the shoes, like he's penalty. Totally missed it. Finally, my turn. <laughs> uh, Wait, I'm not looking forward to this next turn. Did we just skip the Orc Reaver 9? No, he took a swing at Saphira and missed. Wait, where's Orc Reaver 9?
Actually, yeah. Wait, are those two about to like transform? Ranger something? You cut it out, buddy. <laughs> I said, are those two gonna like, you know, morph into something like? Yeah. Form or something? of a mega ankylosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Like Autobots. Uh oh, one hopped on top of the other. We got trouble, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Master Blaster. Master Blaster with Body Yeah, there you go. So this thing is a Beast Wars Decepticon? <laughs> Doc Dandy, you got, you felt a, a, a sense of inspiration and you f feel a lot stronger now. Ah, okay. I feel fantastic. <laughs> you feel just dandy. I feel dandy. I am the dandy man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, hold on, let me check this out real quick. <sighs> All right, let me target the uh, pterodactyl. And I'm going to do inflict wounds. Okay. Yeah, it's a touch spell, right? It's a what? A touch spell. Um, Yeah, it's a melee attack. Yeah. So you're going to try to touch him and then inflict wounds. But it's a melee spell attacking against a creature you can reach. Yep, and you can reach him because he's down there pecking at you. All right, I inappropriately touch him for necro attack. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, you, yeah, and he falls to the ground. Oh wow! And um, I have a quick question: Is there still a um, one of those small crates where that green line is going to? Yeah, the green. Yeah, there are, the crates are all still around. I just had to move them so you guys okay. could target people because i know but, there was a couple of them been killed so i didn't know if that was one one them. one got killed one got destroyed and then the rest have been actually haven't been damaged okay. or anything if you're you have one more attack right no yes i did and i missed it horribly ah uh, and the dandy has it. The but dandy the pterodactyl is dead the pterodactyl has been touched to death All right, he is your it's new so target. Wrong. <laughs> uh, that's where's this fanatic in? Uh, I'll hold on. I have to. There you go. Right. Yeah, and this guy such falls. A good smell. Just mop it up. It's, it's just such a great spell, especially for this situation. I, I wouldn't. I would never say we're mopping up at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. yeah that's true. we're. Yeah, I know it's a little premature to say that. I know. <laughs> and you have another target. There we go. Um, I'm actually going to. Try to resurrect that last one. No, hold on. I want to see if this is a bonus action or an action. Well, no, you, it's not your turn. You got to do the damage to him. Oh, sorry. I had him targeted. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I screwed it up. I thought it was my turn. My... Okay, there you go. Oof. He's gone. Dude, he only had 10 and you did 12 max damage. Now right, it's, it's really It's really my turn now. Okay, now hold on really... I want to see if this is an action or a button. So it's just right. I'm going to... 
cast a 15 foot globe of magical darkness over myself and this stupid. Okay. Now you can you see through that? I can because I have devil sight. Yes. Sir. Okay. All right. So there's that, which puts him at disadvantage and puts me at, at advantage, obviously, on the tackle. Because I can okay. see him he can't see It also would give his um, Shade Spectre thing to not have disadvantage, even if it didn't wasn't flanking with Saphira, right? Because it's Correct. in the darkness it's no longer at disadvantage because it's in the dark. You got me, man. Yeah, see, you know what I'm... Uh, and now I'm going to attack this. Okay. At advantage. Yeah. Uh, oh, hold on. I got to turn this down. Okay. Neither of those hit? Jesus Christ. Um, and I guess I get a second attack, by the way. Okay. Let me hit. Uh, yeah, he's gone. Cool. All right. And you got a new target. Oh, uh, hold on. Yep, it's it's ready for you. So much stuff to do, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and both of the guys uh, um, are done. And I think now I have to pass my curse on. Yeah. All right. 